Uh, let's check in with a member of the New England Patriots, Dietrich Wise of the Pats. He joins us here uh, on WEEI, and he's brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. Dietrich, how are we doing this morning? I'm doing well. How are you doing? We're doing Very well. Good. It's a, a a busy news day out there uh, for us. I'm curious how and when you found out the news. We heard your teammate Jelani Tavai driving into the facility today here on WEEI. He didn't know as of like 8 a.m. How, how did you find out? Uh, we, we found out today during squad meeting. What was the uh, reaction by uh, you and your teammates? You know, uh, on the defensive side, we – Really, just go out there and play our game, and uh, whatever coach says is is the starter. We ride behind them. So once he told us that uh, Jacoby was a starter, we was like, all right, this guy we're gonna we're gonna ride behind, and uh, we put our faith in him to lead our offense. And our team. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep going. No, that was it. Okay, so uh, when did you find out about this meeting? Because uh, yesterday, as far as we knew. There wasn't going to be any available uh, availability for Gerard Mayo. So when did you guys find out you were going to be called in for a squad meeting uh, where you were going to get this uh, announcement? Yeah, squad meeting every day. Got it. So this was a, this is a scheduled thing you were going to be talking to. So uh, it changed on the media side. Uh, was there uh, anything more than just an announcement uh, from from Gerard Mayo? Did he elaborate? Did he let you guys know uh, that he was open to, <clears throat> to hearing any feedback on it? How did that go? No, he, 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 he uh, kept it short. Yeah, he just told us who, who the starter was, and um, we went on by our day. So is that just for the quarterback position, or does he go through and maybe any of the other battles? Does he tell you who the starting offensive line is, get into the defense, or is this just a QB decision? <laughs> nah, I mean, uh, he just told us today who the starting quarterback was. I, I, I think uh, yeah, it was pretty much it. That's those okay. those quarterbacks, they yeah. get all this special treatment, they don't they? They really do. They really do, huh, Dietrich? All the rules? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they're the, they're the star of the league, star of the team. You know, they, they're the main people besides the center who t touch the ball every day, and the ball is the program. Mm -hmm. So uh, wherever the ball goes, the program goes. And the more time the ball is in the end zone, the program gets love and appreciation. So, And the person who does all, all that is a quarterback. So that's why they get all the, all the, uh, all the blame, all the praise, everything. So. Well, speaking Whether it's wanted or, or unwanted. Well, speaking of quarterbacks, of all the quarterbacks you have sacked in your career, which was your favorite? Which guy was your favorite to hit? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, uh, man. Brissette. No, uh, <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool sacking a, a few quarterbacks in my time. Uh, sacked Drew Brees. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, ben Roethlisberger, he's a big guy to get down. So every time I, I got to him, I had to make sure he – he went went to the ground um, very similar, similar in stature to uh, Josh Allen. So, um, yeah, that's those are two different guys right there. I feel like you could breathe on Drew Brees and you'd knock him down. Whereas <laughs> Roethlisberger, you might need well, he a, gets, a he help. He gets the ball out quick. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, true. he gets the ball out pretty quick. So for him, it's more so trying to get him down fast before the ball comes out. Yep. Where as Ben, Ben has to muscle it before he throws the ball in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of similar how to Josh is. We're talking to Dietrich Wise of the Patriots here on Jones and Keefe on WEEI. Uh, Dietrich, from the outside looking in, and, and you can correct us if we're wrong about this, it feels like communication is all over the place with this organization uh, in the transition from Bill Belichick to Gerard Mayo and even with Elliot Wolf in the front office. How do you feel communication has been, not just on the quarterback, but overall? I think communication has been has been really good, actually. Uh, I think... Uh, the coaching staff and the head coach is very open and transparent about things that they, they uh, are doing, talking about. Um, we're all on the same page. We go out there to the field throughout the day. So I think communication is really, really good. So I, I, I guess, for instance, when you say the communication is good and you can talk to all these different uh, coaches, we're, we're confused sometimes with the messaging from Mayo. He says it's a team-wide decision versus my decision. Uh, like, for instance, with you on defense, who do you go to when you have a question? Is it positionally? Is it the defensive coordinator? Can you still go to Mayo because you have that relationship? Who do you go to when you need to communicate something? Now, it depends on the question. depending on who I go to. Uh, if, if it's a defensive question, I go to my defensive coaches, DC, my D-line coach, my outside, outside linebacker coach. And if it's a, a bigger question, then I go to Mayo. How has that been for for seeing those guys? Because you've been here now a while. You're one of the veteran guys on this team. You just missed playing with Mayo by a couple of years, but he's been on the staff for a while. Mm -hmm. Covington's been on the staff yeah. for a while. And both of those guys 
kind of elevating yeah. in, in roles. So what has that whole transition been like, not only for them, but like for you? Like you were used to seeing those guys in different roles than you do see now. Yeah, it's uh, this the, the elevation and the, so the, the evolution of their of their journey. Um, then we play with Mayo. You already said that, but watching him from coming in as the first time Patriots coach to now who he is now, seeing his growth, um, his leadership, his communication skills, and and the way he uh, interacts with guys, and also with uh, DC. Um, DC came in, uh, worked his way up the up the ladder. Now he's a DC. He's doing a great great job leading the defense, um, uh, being able to communicate exactly what he wants us to do throughout the day, throughout the practice, and uh, throughout the year. Why do you think the coaching staff went with Jacoby over Drake May? Uh, that's a coach decision. That's something that you, you had to ask May or, or what? somebody. But um, why? Why do you yeah. think though? If you had to guess, I I don't really know. I mean, I think they both did a great great job. It was one of those type of things where they both showed great things in practice and, and great things, and it kind of just came down to how coach felt. So that's a, definitely a, a Javon Mayo question. What uh what have you seen those great things from Drake May that you've seen in practice? Most definitely. So uh, Drake definitely um, hits his targets, does a good job there. Um, has the ability to uh, bounce back after bad plays that he has. Um, he's he's uh, has a uh, level headed poise about himself. You don't see him get too too down or too up. You see him pretty much even nil. So and a young quarterback that's always good to see. You know. For years, there's always been the next man up mentality with the Patriots and with, you know, Barmore dealing with what he's dealing with and with Matt Judon traded away. You on that defensive line, kind of ant- uh, anchoring the defensive line, like how much motivation do you guys have? Some of the big name guys are gone, but still trying to get the same results. You know, um, uh, as we told the guys, you know, we don't, and Coach always told us this, uh, Coach uh, Belichick, he always told us, he said, uh, we don't need superheroes and uh, Superman and things like that. What we need is is guys doing their fundamentals and technique every single time at a high level. And that's pretty much it. Paying attention to detail, doing the small things, extraordinary, and, and going out there and doing your 111. And one, even though we miss those guys, want those guys to play for us this year and things like 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 that, we know in the grand scheme of things, they're not going to be here. So we have to be able to continue doing our job and continue doing the small things at a high level. So with all the guys we have, I believe that we'll be able to still uh, put good film on, uh, on tape, still be able to uh, uh, have the results that we, we want as a defense and also as, as a, a team. Uh, before we let you go, I think it's, uh, if I have this right, it's a, a four-day mandated uh, CBA break uh, coming up going into next week, if I'm not wrong. Uh, is that that's not enough time to to go to Vegas or the Caribbean? I wouldn't think. But what do you have anything planned? You never know. Yo, what do you have you planned for know. the next few days? <laughs> uh, a, a lot of R and R uh, and refocusing, getting ready back, getting back the body and mind right for the season. Okay, very good. Teacher Twise of the New England Patriots. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. No problem. You have a great day. All right. Thank you. You too. All right, Dietrich Wise uh, joining us here, brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market. They haven't announced captains yet, but he was he was a captain the last three years, I believe, right, or the last two years, maybe. Yeah, he's been he's definitely been yeah, one. been one of them. So look, I I get why. Yeah, ask Rod. Yeah, smart. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 go, go ahead and ask. I mean, I can get how how can you classic. how can you go wrong with that one? Yeah, I don't know. It's not up to me. It's above my pay grade. Go ask him. Well, the defensive guys do have a little bit of an out, right? They when there's like, listen, like, I'm not in the huddle with those guys. Like, I we go up against them sometimes. Like, it depends on what they're running. He might have gone up against Joe Milton more than the other two guys. For all we know, at practice. So they did their squad meeting as normal. Yep. I wonder. I wonder if they. And he, he didn't seem to uh, think it was too abnormal, uh, at least outwardly. But it feels abnormal to me the way this all went down. But he said they had their squad meeting. He said, hey, it's Jacoby, and that was it. Yeah. That's his understanding of how it went down. But thank God he did that. Otherwise, if, imagine if he told the media yesterday. Like, those guys wouldn't even have cared. You think if Dietrich Wise found out yesterday that Jacoby was starting, do you think he would even bat an eye? No, it doesn't sound he that way. Doesn't, I don't think he'd give a rat's so, ass. So if it really is that simple, if it really is as simple and basic and just like, oh, whatever, shoulder shrug, as Wise made it sound to us just yeah. now, why'd they wait so long? It's a good point, Keith. Why? He couldn't, couldn't, have, said couldn't have said it yesterday. Easily. Couldn't have said it Monday? Yeah. Couldn't have done it before? That's what the if whole meeting really was. really that easy, yeah. you could have done it, I don't know, before this morning. So it's still weird to me. Mm-hmm. What do you make?